Next week's Douglas Sirk film is one in which he cast in the leading roles two of his favourite stars, Jane Wyman and Rock Hudson, in All That Heaven Allows. As in Magnificent Obsession, Jane Wyman is once again a lonely young widow, but this time Rock Hudson plays her gardener, and the story is really about the shockwaves that their affair causes in the small American town in which they live. You can see All That Heaven Allows at the usual time, 9.25, in next Thursday's midweek cinema spot. Tomorrow on BBC Two, A Round with Alice. And in the first of the series, Peter Alice invites Douglas Bader for a round of golf and conversation. Do you ever think about going back? Do you ever think about no. time? If you, if you started again, though, now, would you still go I would into still aeronautics? Operate, yes, or? operate my life exactly as I did. Would you? I would join the Royal Air Force and, uh, you see, the pattern doesn't change. Pick me out if I disappear in the <laughs> quick span. And, uh, I mean, the aeroplanes are different. They fly at five million miles an hour and people go to the moon and so on, but... But would you like to have done that, gone to the moon? Uh, not now. You wouldn't? I'm uh, not a bit interested in the moon, but I think if I were 18 or 19... Well, that's I, what I, I say. Be, yeah. if, if you went into the Air Force, would you go into it... I think so. ...thinking about the aerospace things and one well, thing? difficult to tell you, so you can't go back. Group Captain Sir Douglas Bader in A Round with Alice tomorrow at 10.15, here on 2. In quarter of an hour, Open Door presents The Way Back. And before that, here's Richard Baker with the late news. The time is seven and a quarter minutes to eleven. The Pope in silent prayer where millions were put to death, Auschwitz. The Pope's pilgrimage to Poland is the first papal visit to communist Eastern Europe and on this sixth day of his tour he stressed the importance of human rights by saying never can one people develop at the cost of another. His message was delivered during his five and a half hours at former Nazi concentration camps at Auschwitz. He described it as a place built on hatred, built with contempt for man and in the name of a crazed ideology. It was one of the most moving events of Pope John Paul's return to his homeland. Mike Mackay reports. This afternoon, the pontiff visited the Auschwitz death camp, where, among other things, he went to pray in the cell of the martyr, the blessed Maximilian.